16 minutes to 5 o'clock. Welcome back. Now, international award-winning film and TV commercial director and producer Mickey Dube is taking a deep dive into the role of students in his latest documentary, The Student Movement. The documentary is exclusive viewing, which is conceptualized and funded by Ndimbanyika, will be shown next week. That's on the 6th of October. Well, to give us a bit of a sense what it's about, a bit of a preview, tell us more about the documentary, The Student Movement, is uh, Miki Dube himself this hour here on The Lead. Miki, good afternoon. Nice talking to you again. Welcome to The Lead here on ENCA. The Student Movement, what is it about? Um, thank you for your uh, time, and uh, I uh, uh, feel uh, blessed to be speaking with you. It's the first time we actually speak about the project uh, publicly. So uh, it's those very moments, you know, they're a bit uh, uh, jittery a little bit. Uh, but this documentary, uh, we, we calling it now, it's just a working title, uh, Student Movements. And it's really a paying homage to student activism. Um, often when we've talked about the history of this country, we've talked about everybody else who's, who participated in the big change that took place uh, that led towards the end of apartheid. Uh, but it never, if you think about it very clearly, never has the role played by students, particularly tertiary students, um, been mentioned. It's just something that's kind of, you know, um, uh, by the by. And, um, and so this documentary really is about paying homage to that strata of our society, to that group of uh, very driven, uh, very, you know, fiery, passionate, um, often very conceptual in nature, uh, sacrificing, you know, the, the future in a way, because when you're at university, when you're there, you're really trying to change your class status. And here are people who, who decide to put that on the line and, mm. and, and try and do something about the, the, the situation that's at hand and at that particular time apartheid. But if you think yes. recently, things must fall, you know. Uh, or post-94, uh, uh, SASCO students, university students, were the first ones to march against gear, right? So it's something that's continuous, and we literally look at this from about the 20s, which is when the first, you know, organization, student organization was established, new SAS, until um, the, 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 the present. So it's a, it's a big wash, uh, way, it's, but it's really about paying homage. Um, yes. But it's also about trying so, to... Sorry, yeah, sorry, Mickey, before... A, yeah, sorry, Mickey. Sorry, Mickey. Before you, I, I want to come in here because I, I'm just thinking generally when we speak about the anti-apartheid struggle and the struggle of it, we, we put students under the youth generally. But you are honing in, as yes. you've mentioned, on the student, and you've mentioned a couple of the student organizations. I mean, I myself in the 70s we was one of those many students in Soweto who were influenced by the student Christian movement, for example, which used to operate among yes. the students in our schools, and then. And there was the likes of SASM, yes. the South African student movement. So yes. there was a student. So you, you are honing in on that in this documentary. We, we are definitely honing on it. Uh, look, it's not as if we haven't talked about the role of students, but often it's June 16. People just think June 16, right? Uh, or they will go, you know, uh, SASO, South African uh, Students' Organization, uh, which is the Black Consciousness Movement with Steve Biko, Pani Pichana, Christine Kunta, Mapela Rampela, and so on. And they played a huge role. And it's not as if they are not part of the documentary. But we're looking at other areas that have not been looked at. You know, the many various student organizations, student activists. I mean, we've interviewed a whole range of people. Um, our executive producer, you know, who is the founder for this project, is Robinson Ramaite, who was the first uh, president of, of SASCO, the South African Student Congress, you know. So we're speaking to people like him, we're speaking to people like Lincoln Mali, Christine Kunta, you know, Fasia Hassan of Fismas Fault, Minen Tentuli, Nongaibam Thaulin Tutuoma Komboti, who in fact is the originator of, of the idea. Paul Pretorius, people don't know, he was uh, 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 at a very tough time when Steve Biko and them left Newsas. Paul Pretorius was one of those early uh, uh, presidents of, of, of Newsas, Pani Pitiana, Dia Homo Seneca, Terence Elane, and so many, so many other, mm. a whole range of people we've spoken with. Um, about well, what do you, five interviews yeah. so far. 
and and the reason we did that yeah the reason yeah. we did that is when we were doing research on this we couldn't find any research it was so little so we thought okay we're going to create an archive by talking to as many people as possible but obviously not everybody is going to make it onto the screen yes no that's that's to be able to have this that's, that's understandable you know, yeah uh, yeah I mean, as you're busy putting it together, I understand ne uh, next week, uh, the 6th of October, there's be kind of a preview and uh, that I'm aware of. But, yes. but, but, but in your head, in your mind, as you look at this final product, what do you hope uh, viewers of it, people who are going to watch and see it, what do you hope they're going to get out of it? Look, I can tell you now, based on the interviews that we have done, I mean, they're mind-blowing. I mean, I was sitting there listening to the stories of people because our approach with this often when we have looked at documentaries done in South Africa they have been very historically based so that's the starting point the, the starting point is it's an account of history so it's often told in that person it's all often very descriptive right we decided to take a view of a personal narrative where we understand history through the lives of people, through a personal narrative of a, a Fasia Hassan, of a Tutuwa Makombo, of a Robinson Ramaidia. What journey did they personally go through that intersects with history? So we understand history through their lives, right? So, um, so this, this, is, this is the temperature that, that, that we are, we, we've, we've pressed on to, and we want people to take away stories of normal individuals who make big changes in society. So they themselves begin to see that, hey, by the way, I can do something about my community. I can do something about my own, my own conditions. So that, that's the one uh, element. The mm. other element is that if you look in the country, let's face it, there's a serious, serious gap in quality of leadership in this country. And when you look at these various students that we've spoken with, you know, and, and they cut across from way back, they all at, uh, at uh, Forte and at, at uh, Lovedale and, and, and UCT, right? And when you speak with them, you, you get this sense of these people who, who are like a cut above the rest. So we're looking at being able to, to cast a, a, a new value or at least a revised value proposition on leadership in this country, okay. the future of leadership in this country. Yeah. Because Mickey, you're going to be looking at individuals yeah. who made huge strides. Mickey, unfortunately, we've run out of time. You and I can talk uh, for quite some time, but I, we get the sense, and uh, we're looking forward to listening to the stories, amazing stories of uh, part of our history, the student movement, and also how we could learn from them and get some new values to contribute to a new quality of leadership in the country. Mickey Dube, international acclaimed filmmaker and producer, busy with this project now. The student movement is preview set for next week on the 6th of October.